new at 11 tonight. It started with an East Bay High School student expressing his commitment to social justice. Then came the online threat and the hate mail. Tonight, a truce in this battle, an understanding between a senior in high school and a senior citizen. NBC Barry's Terry McSweeney has more from Dublin. And I was like, I was actually shaking. I was like, what's happening right now? You know, I couldn't really process what was happening. That's how 17 year old Dublin High School student Danelle McMahon reacted. When he heard about a post threatening the Tri Valley for Black Lives rally he organized for this Sunday. And he actually referred to us as thugs. The rally had the Dublin City Council's blessing, but not the okay from Mike Grant. His Facebook post called on Oath Keepers, NRA members, and others to show up at the rally with helmets and vests in case these BLM people start trouble. And he posted a picture of Danell. Uh, it actually had 29 shares. That also made me very nervous because 30 people were feeling like this. And that could be 30 people that are potentially threatening me. The man who posted that message tells me tonight he had it all wrong. Because I thought it was going to be a uh, Black Lives Matter that uh, was not friendly style. We've seen it across the country. Grant says he envisioned violence as a result of the protest. Reaction to the post has been overwhelming for Grant. All I've been getting is a lot of hate mail. Denell's father, Jamar, tracked down Mike Grant and called him. As bad as what I feel like Mr. Grant did, I do feel like he is sincere in what he's saying. And uh, I just hope, uh, just like my son, I hope that we can move forward with this and, uh, you know, get a, get a resolution. And that includes an in-person meeting between Grant and the McMahon family. I never thought a 17-year-old boy would uh, basically wake a 65-year-old man up. Terry McSweeney, NBC Bay Area News.